Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to Mimi Hool's house. Today we're going to make some fruit-filled egg rolls. This is kind of new for me other than the apples. I'm going to do an apple egg roll and then I'm going to do a multi-berry egg roll. So that's new, so we'll be learning that one together. Um, I prepped my stuff yesterday so I could get it in the fridge overnight so they could sit and you know, collect all the wonderful flavors that are in there. Apples with cinnamon and sugar and vanilla. And then I have the mixed berries, which is three different kinds. <coughs> Excuse me. I have blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries in one. Then we're going to add cream cheese to that one. All right. So I started to prep everything already. So this way it was all ready for us. We didn't have to wait, you know. You didn't have to watch me gather everything. Got it all done for you, except for I'm going to cut up a few strawberry, fresh strawberries to put in with my mixed berries I made yesterday. This already has cream cheese chunks in it, but I'm going to add more to the egg roll itself. But I want to add a few fresh berries just to brighten it up, you know, so it's not too mushy on one kind of texture, you know. So I'm going to hull out the berry, cut the top off in the little core. Take care of that and kind of add some freshness to it also. Let's see here. I'm only going to add a few. I don't need many. Just to kind of enough to make it a little fresher. That's all. Well, I think this will do. That will be good for now. If I need more, we'll cut them. That's all. Alright. I don't want them big chunks because... I do want them to soften up when we fry them, and that's all we're going to do. We're not going to cook these other than the frying. That's it. So we're going to throw those right in there. Alrighty. I don't know if any of you have ever made egg rolls before. I make um, a homemade chicken egg roll that... My family goes crazy for. And when I make them, I have to make at least 75 of them just to make sure everybody gets some and nobody complains they didn't get enough. My son in law is actually in love with them. My daughter, my husband, our best friend, and all his co workers. My husband's co worker, that is, loves these homemade egg rolls. The apple egg rolls I have made before. I said when my son was younger he used to play football and I would uh, make up a big batch for after their practices and stuff so that they'd have a nice little snack and I'd bring them up nice and warm those went over very well <laughs> as you can imagine a bunch of young kids playing football nice snack before dinner thanks Mimi I'm supposed to have my three-year-old grandson this weekend so him and I are gonna make whoopie pies together and I'll try to film some of that for you Clean up the flexi board alrighty I already washed my hands and all that okay this is everything that's prepped I have my apples these are the egg roll wraps you can go to any store. I get mine. Walmart. You go to the produce section, believe it or not. They're in there. These are the egg roll wraps. You also have wonton wraps in there. This is what they look like. They're just a nice thin sheet of dough. That's it. Then I have the strawberry mixture. You know the berries. I have my oil going. And I have my binder to hold them closed. So why don't we get started with the apple egg rolls. This is time consuming. It can get messy. I am wearing an apron today because I have a very bad habit of wearing whatever I'm making. Never fails. So I figured today I'll wear the apron so this way I'm not covered in goop by the time I'm done. Alright, so I laid out four of these sheets. You can see that. What I'm going to do, sorry about the lighting, I'm in my kitchen and it's not the greatest lighting, but 
I'm going to take some egg wash. That's what this is. If you have a brush, use your brush. Me, I make, I do with my fingers. And you're going to do, I do all four edges. Just kind of the edge, not the middle, because that's where you're going to put your, your filling. You can do as much or as little filling as you like. Most people obviously would like a lot of filling in theirs so that they taste it and not just egg roll wrap. All right. One more edge here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our mixture, our apples, meaning, and we're going to put some apples right directly in the middle. Let me move you back so you can see that because you're kind of close. Yeah. There we go. There's my apples in the middle. Your best cooking utensils right here. Okay, this is what you do. You fold one edge over, okay? Put a little bit of egg wash on each edge. Fold your other edge over, like so. And then you're going to take it and roll it and pull it towards you just a little bit. And roll, and there you go. Egg roll, one down. 25 more to go, I'm sure. I try to do a bunch before I put them in the fryer because once you start working with that fryer um, <clears throat> it goes quick and you really need to be on top of it okay more apples I use my fingers a lot when I cook all right here we go an apple over here like I said from one side and the other side a little egg wash on each end so that it'll hold when you cross it over. So I'm folding one side, I'm pulling it towards me just a little bit to kind of snug it up, and then you roll. And the egg wash actually is like adhesive and it seals it as you can see. It, he it seals the edging right there. So when I go to fry these, they're not going to pop open and all the filling pop out, and then all of a sudden the grease is going crazy because you have something liquid in it and done that a many times okay this is video number two for me my first video was my spaghetti sauce you can find that under Mimi's spaghetti sauce <laughs> like I said I'm new to this so I'm, I'm not quite sure how to label things yet and all that so bear with me all right let's see I'm gonna get a little closer for you so you can see there's the egg roll I'm gonna take it I'm put it over all the way over your apples tuck them in and then pull it towards you just a little bit and then roll that's it that's that's an egg roll just make sure your edges are tucked in down here because you don't want anything popping out and popping in your face <laughs> Nothing worse than a oil burn. Get some more wraps here. Hopefully you can see me. All right. I'm wearing my little Christmas apron. It's cute. I like it, and it helps me stay clean. I do have a chef's jacket, but it is way too hot for me to be wearing that thing. So, here we go. I, like I, I do four at a time if you're not comfortable with that that's absolutely fine just do one or two to start off with okay and then normally you would cover your your dough as it, your egg roll dough with a damp paper towel not soaking wet just damp to keep them moist so that they don't dry out and you try to roll them and they crack on you and fall apart I make them so too. I make them quick enough that I don't worry about it. Like I said, I've done it for a while. You know, to make a, any kind of egg roll, you can make any kind of egg roll. You know, heck, you can even probably make a breakfast egg roll. You know, do up some home fries and some scrambled eggs and bacon or sausage, and you know, put it all in the middle and roll it up. 
you know, do anything you want. I mean, it's you, there is no limit to what you can do. Do what you want. Fill it with what you want. I came up with these apple egg rolls, like I said, when my son was playing football. It was just an idea. I figured I'd give it a shot. Went over well and been making them ever since. I don't make the fruit filled ones often. I make my chicken ones often. Well, often enough for me. Because <laughs> it is time consuming. Your back hurts, your legs hurt. You know, from standing out here. Okay. I'm going to show you what I mean by folding your edges over. Wait, where is it? There it is. That's folding your edges over. I don't know if you can see that. Alright, let's try this. There we go. Okay. Put you back down so I can roll them over here. I'm going to try not to drop you today. Yes, it was four or five times. I couldn't keep you up there. Alright. Let me make sure the sides stay in because those pop out. So are your apples. They tuck it in there. Close them up. My oil's getting there pretty good. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Because once you put them in there, it only takes two, three minutes tops. To cook the outside of that egg roll. So when you're filling the egg roll, you want to fill it with cooked product. Because basically all you're doing here is just cooking the outside. You're cooking the shell. Right, little egg. And let's roll. You hold the edges in, pull it toward you, and roll. There we go. I'll do a couple berry ones for you too, so that you can see that. You know, I'm gonna switch over here so that you can see the egg, the berry ones. Now I make the apple mainly. My daughter does not eat strawberries, so she won't eat the fruit filled. But it wouldn't be fair not to give her something to eat. <coughs> well, everybody else eats. So. This one needs another apple. A little thin there. Don't want to skimp out too much, you know. Like I said, you want to make sure you have flavor in there, but make sure you you have enough room to roll. You don't overstuff. They will burst when they're, they're cooking. Alright, I'm going to do a couple berry ones. I'm kind of excited. I'm only going to do two to start off because I don't know how this is going to go. This is one of the new for me too. Always wanted to, I just haven't. All right, mix up those fresh strawberries we just put in there. I knew it. There's one. I wonder if we can keep a counter. How many times is Mimi gonna drop you today? Hmm. All right. I already have, like I said, some cream cheese chunks already in here. This is one right here. I put them in last night while it was nice and warm. So that they could kind of blend in, first, if you may. Okay, now I gotta do the outside, so I gotta clean my fingers. See, I'm diabetic, so a lot of the fruit, you gotta be careful, because a lot of fruit has a lot of sugar. And I love strawberries and I love blackberries. Blueberries, I can give or take. I'll eat them if they're there. Instead of sweetening it with um, straight up sugar and cooking it down, use some uh, sweet and low or some, you know, sugar substitute. Use agave or some honey. These aren't for me, so I'm just going to use what I have and I made it with sugar. And then I thickened it up a little. Okay, I'm going to put some in the middle. I'm kind of excited to see how these come out. <laughs> come on, get off my spoon. All right. 
I'm putting about two tablespoons full, approximately, maybe a little less. Nah, it's about two tablespoons. Remember, these things, like I said, get very messy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to fold it, fold it, egg wash it, and roll it. Well, looks good so far. I'm going to test my uh, oil here. And one egg, and I'll do one apple for you. So you can see what they're going to look like when they're done. And roll up this fruit one. Oh, look how full that is, huh? That's nice and full. The edges are all tucked in. Nothing's going to come popping out on me. Like I said, these things don't take long at all. And we'll be closer to me so you can see what I'm doing. How was that? That's the outside. That took what? Less than a minute? That's it. Look at them. Now before I touch these and cut them open to show you, I'm going to let them cool a minute because mm, they are hot. So, we'll see here and we'll roll a couple more. I'm trying to get them done so I can bring them out to my husband's work for all his co-workers and him and his, my daughter. They all, they both work together, our daughter. So, <coughs> she'll get her fair share. They all seem to like my food, which makes me feel good. I like that. Like I said, I like watching people eat my food and know that they like it. I did something right, and I like it when they're honest, and they tell me when I did something wrong. That way I can readjust and <coughs> fix that. I'm going to finish the apples because they don't have a whole lot left. So. just want to get these done. Alrighty. I'm going to finish rolling the apple out, but I do want to cut into that before I let you go so you can see what the inside is going to look like. Keep that closed. Alright, let me just roll these two and I'll show you the insides of the other ones. Alright, and then if you like my video, Hit the like button, you know, the little thumbs up down there. Just hit that button. You want to see more simple, easy recipes? You know, I can even do a budget recipe. Just subscribe and hit the notification. That'll tell you when I'm coming on with my new recipe. Tell me what you think about it. Comment below. Have you ever made egg rolls? What, what kind have you made? Let me know. You know, I love to share recipes. I'm not, I'm not one that <laughs> hides them to myself. Although my daughter seems to think so. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This one looks like the fruit one. That could be on. Oh, no, look at that. There's your apple. Look at that. That's your apple egg roll right there. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Now, normally, this one I was cutting for you. I would take it and I would roll it in cinnamon sugar. All right, let's see what the berry looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. And there's that fresh strawberry right there. And then you got your cream cheese right in there. Look at that. Now that looks amazing. So, here we go. There you go, you got your apple and they're nice and full. You know what, roll them in cinnamon sugar. The, the berry ones I would put powdered sugar on. Put them in a, a nice dish with some vanilla ice cream. You know, apple pie and ice cream, right? 
well, apple egg rolls and ice cream. <clears throat> I think you'll enjoy this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And in, in, in Mimi Hool's Kitchen, wish you best cooking.